Today we are here to celebrate in the joyous celebration of two who are being joined in holy matrimony. An opportunity to show Jesus through their marriage, to show the support of family and friends, to show the union of two people who have been brought together to share their life for eternity. And so you who are their friends or family, before God, we stand here to celebrate that time. Courtney, I can honestly say that you have changed my life. The fact that you have stuck with me and have been there every time I needed someone is amazing. You are the strongest person I know. Literally only a month after we started dating, I left for boot camp and you stuck with me. That shouldn't be a thing. I don't know many people that can say their first year of dating, we only spent three months together. But you still wrote or called me every night. I was gone and every night since. Joshua, I had no idea when I first saw you with your salmon shorts and basketball shoes that I would be standing here today. After all the heartbreaks I've endured in my life, I thought I wasn't capable of love. I thought I was completely unlovable, and then I was blessed by God with you. You continue to put up with me in my crazy mood swings and you never get mad. You always make me laugh in a three-hand squeeze, I love you smile before bed. You were the highlight of my days. I would be having a completely trash day, but as soon as I hear your voice on the phone screaming at someone who just cut you off in traffic, it was like music to my ears my day is immediately better. I cannot believe you have stayed by my side through all of it, but I'm so thankful that you did, because you have made so many of the best moments in my life. You're the most beautiful, caring, loving, and hardworking, and determined person I've ever met. I love you more than life itself, and I cannot wait to spend forever with you. You are the man I have prayed for, and I'm so blessed to be with you here today, saying before God and our friends and family, declaring that I love you now and forever. We did it. After all the memories that we've shared so far, we kept pushing and we made it to today. We made it to the start of forever, and I'm so blessed that it's with you. And out to his grandma, one, two, three. Love you. Hey, sweetie. Bye. I love you too. Courtney, Josh loves you with all his heart. <laughs> oh, <hi. laughs> That's two for two. <laughs> it takes a special couple to endure being away from each other. Thank you, Josh and Courtney, for being great friends, serving others in our country through the typical times. Courtney, don't spend all of Josh's money. <sighs> and Josh, don't be so tiny a wallet, man. Work together, enjoy a long, wonderful life together, and may God bless you with many children. Please raise your glasses for a toast for Mr. and Mrs. Gilchrist. Although there may be eight years difference between us, and naturally we're at different points in our life, she always insisted on following in my footsteps. And you can bet, whatever it was that I did, she was gonna try to do it better. <laughs> Ultimately, I couldn't see my sister with a better person than Josh. When I first met Josh, I knew he was special. He's respectful, confident, and a family man. I am so glad to have gained you as a brother. I wish you both many years of love and happiness wherever life takes you. Please join me in congratulating Mr. and Mrs. Gilchrist. Father God, we give you thanks for this union, Lord. We give you thanks for this couple, God. We give you thanks for you within this marriage, Lord. We give you thanks for all that you have brought to together through them and that you will continue to do through them, the family that you're creating through them, uh, and just the connection that uh, you have with them. God, continue to watch over them, keep them uh, safe, and keep them running towards you and each other. It's in Jesus' name I pray, how you may kiss the bride.